guys welcome back to my channel today I'm super excited to do a foundation declutter video I've been loving watching these videos online and they're so satisfying looking at all the products people own and what they're eliminating and a couple of videos back I asked if you guys would be interested to see my entire foundation collection I thought to kill two birds with one stone today to show you everything I own and also get rid of some stuff because I'm such a hoarder when it comes to like makeup it's hard for me to get rid of things it's hard for me to get rid of things in general I feel like in life I hope you enjoy this please give it a thumbs up if you like videos like this and let me know if what else you like to see and yeah let's get into it okay sorry guys this is like a really bad off awful frame ah, my camera Okay, so I took everything out and here, oh my god. So here are the foundations that I currently own. I'm just gonna go through them one by one. First thing I see, this is the Sephora Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation. I just recently did a review on this and I surprisingly like this a lot, actually. I think it's really fast, good coverage, and it's fairly yellow. This is in the shade Fair. I'm just gonna swatch a little bit of it. As you can see, the shade is fairly yellow. This is a really nice foundation. It dries down to a powdery finish. So I'm going to keep this. Next, we have this Kiel Skin Tone Correcting Beautifying BB Cream Sunscreen. Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I haven't used this in such a long time. This, this is like really old. This is one of my first uh, makeup products ever. Look at how dark it kind of is. Um, I remember this being pretty thick on the skin and the color was definitely off for me But when I was using it, I really liked it because of the high SPF and Kiehl's is such a good skincare brand Anyway, I just use this as like my everyday BB cream. This is really nice for that But it's just it's just so old and not my color anymore. So I'm gonna toss this Speaking of wrong shades. I have the EX1 in God damn. I have the EX1 Invisiwear liquid foundation. This is the in the shade F200. They have since redone the shades and this is so dark for me. Look at this. <laughs> I can almost use this as a liquid bronzer. No joke. This is a really, really nice foundation though. It's like so flawless on the skin and it's very olive toned. So if you're like into it and it's really affordable i get this from lookfantastic.com and they usually have like 20 percent off so i wait for those and get one but yeah this is a really really nice foundation it's very affordable i think it's about 15 dollars and it just looks really really flawless on the skin it does really well on my dry skin um and like i said it's like very olive based and very yellow toned so if you have trouble finding affordable makeup that's you know yellow or olive enough for you which I know can be a struggle. I've been there. I know what it's like. This is a great one. This is just way too dark for me. So I am going to donate this. Our two out of two so far. Good job. Next up, I have this e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. It has salicylic acid, witch hazel, camphor, tea tree, and aloe in it. I actually did a first impression on, of this on my channel. I will link it down below. I've done multiple, I've done a lot of first impressions on some of the foundations that I own. So I will either link those on the screen or down below when I talk about them. I actually really like this. This is in the shade Porcelain, I believe. I think they've since came out with newer shades, but I don't remember the shade to be Porcelain perfect on me. It is a little bit dark on me. I remember it would oxidize a little bit. This is a pretty full coverage foundation and it's great because it has all these acne fighting ingredients in it. However, I just think it looks a little bit too heavy on me. See how dark and orangey it is without lights? So yeah, I don't think I'm going to keep this. I will donate this. It is a good one if you can find a good color match for you. I don't know about how well it is at acne fighting. I'm not sure, but it does have really promising ingredients in it. So I am going to donate this as well. Okay, next I have this Instant Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Makeup from Maybelline. I got this because I love 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 the concealer version of this so i think i i got this like when i was on a business trip one time and i think i've only used like i've only used it once or twice that's the shade Ugh. you guys like it's so hard to find a good shade of foundation in the drugstore when you're yellow based and fair it just does not look good look at the color it's insane there's no way i can keep this but i did like the finish i think it has spf 18 in it and it says 
It has super concentrated goji berry and collagen. I have this in a shade 13 buff beige. So that's what that shade looks like. I just cannot. I cannot. So I'm going to donate this as well. It's a good one. It's a pretty finish, but it's just the color. It's just so bad. Awful. <laughs> Next, I have two True Match foundations from L'Oreal. These are a cult favorite. Everyone likes them. I have them in the shades W2 and W4. I don't know what this is doing here. This is like, again, it could be a liquid bronzer on me. I think it's because I didn't think this shade was quite right for me, so I wanted to get a darker shade to mix it. I will swatch it just for reference. So this is what W4 looks like on me. I think at the time W2 was too light for me. That's why I got the W4 to mix. So I'm definitely going to donate the W4. This one is so, like I didn't even use any of it. There's so much of it left. Someone can definitely get better use out of this one. But the True Match foundation in general, I don't love the formula. I have to have to have to mix like an oil or something moisturizing when I wear this. I find it to be really dry and I don't know, it just doesn't really look flattering. I am going to keep this though because I want to keep like at least one drugstore foundation. So I'm going to keep this to the side and then maybe get rid of it later. It's a very thin formula, but it doesn't look flattering on my skin whatsoever. Oh my god, it's so gross. Speaking of L'Oreal True Match, I also picked up the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. This is for healthy, luminous makeup. This is a broad spectrum of 20. I have it in the shade Warm 1 to 2. So I got this because True Match Lumi is better for you if you have dry skin. I'm swatching it here next to W2 and W4. This shade is okay. The warm line from L'Oreal, actually like just basically any foundation from the drugstore, always lean a little bit too peachy for me. It's not great. The color looks always a little bit pink. When I turn off the lights, you can see a more accurate color. This will dry down to be like peachy pink. And look at these, these are just straight up like orange and brown. <laughs> I'm gonna keep these two. Next up, we have another foundation from the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. This foundation also has SPF 15 in it and is for normal to dry skin. I have it in the shade Porcelain 110. This is what the shade looks like. I do like this foundation. My only complaint is the color match. This also dries down to be a little bit peachy. You can definitely see it on my skin when I wear this, but I do like the finish and it is one of the drugstore ones that I do like, so I'm gonna keep that as well. <sighs> so hard. Okay, let's move on to like my favorite foundation of all time. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I have this in the shade 117 equals Y225. This shade is actually too dark for me. But the really annoying thing is that this shade is like the perfect amount of yellowness but the one lighter than this is more pink. So I can't wear 215 and 205 is just like literally white. So I can't wear that either. So this is the this is the shade that I wear. This is again 225. It is the perfect amount of yellow, but just a tad dark. So what I like to do is mix a little bit of the Giorgio Armani foundation. This is in the shade number three. This is the Luminous Silk foundation. These two together, I would wear this every single day. These two together are the best combination ever for me in terms of shade and also the finish. I finally understand why Giorgio Armani foundation is so expensive. Actually, I finally understand why these ex these foundations are so expensive because, well, especially Giorgio Armani, this one delivers really good coverage and it just looks like skin. These two together, honestly, it just looks like skin. It looks so good together. You have to give this a try. This is my favorite foundation. If they made a shade in the Ultra HD that's perfect for me, then I probably would skip on the Giorgio Armani, but they don't. So these two mixed together is my holy grail. I cannot. If like if this was cheaper, I would wear this every day, but I can't because these are so expensive. This foundation is like $60. This is like $43. So I already have a backup of this. I just picked up another one of these from the VIB sale. And this is definitely my favorite. Again, like I said, only 225 works for me. 215 doesn't work. It's pink. It's so annoying. I don't understand why it's pink, even though it's the yellow shade. But it's pink. It's annoying. Moving on to another EX1 Invisiwear foundation. This is a different one. 
So this is the one I just got rid of. Look at how much darker it is. Oh my god. So I got rid of that one, the dark one. But this is the one that is in 2.0. This is a new formula or at least a new numbering of colors. And I finally got a color that would match for me because I really... Oops. Because I really enjoyed the... Because I really enjoy the foundation, you know. Look how yellow it is. It's perfect. It's like really, really great. I do you prefer, for some reason, the darker formula? I don't know if it's the same or it's different. I might be just making it up in my mind. But I feel like the older one looks more flawless. Even still, this is a really great foundation. And that's the shade right there. It's a really good one. Like I said, it's really affordable. And it's like less pink than any other affordable foundation. But you have to get it online, which is annoying. But this is a really good one. So I'm definitely keeping that. Step I have the Stila foundation. This is the perfect and correct foundation. I think I might have got this on Outlook or something like that. Um, I've used quite a bit of it actually as you can see. You can't find this on Sephora. I've looked but I think you can still find it on Stila's website if you're interested. This is a foundation that's actually quite mattifying. It actually is not a bad shade. That's why I really like it. I used to mix this with um, the Ultra HD and then when I had the when I used to have the Too Faced Born This Way I don't have that foundation anymore. I did a demo on that and I had it in the shade Ivory I believe but I found that shade actually to be too yellow for me. That's why I don't have it anymore. I used to mix that with this one and I really like the finish this gives. It's like um it's kind of a more like less luminous look than I than my other foundation so it's, it gives it more like a matte look. It just gives a very flawless look to your foundation. That's why I like this. I'm going to keep that. Okay, moving on. This is my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. This is in the shade G20. I love this product. This is so good, and I think I've actually used all of it. I've never used up a product before, but this one I've used up. This is a very, 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 very full coverage foundation. I used to love mixing this with the Ultra HD. I still do when I want like a really good, nice coverage, the, the duo. These two together looks really, really nice together. Um, very full coverage, like very, very, very flawless. Um, but still looks quite natural, doesn't look too fake, so I really like this. I'm probably going to pick up another one um, in November when the VIP sale comes back. So that's what that shade looks like. I love that one. G20 is the shade I have. I have this Bobbi Brown BB Cream SPF 35. This is in the shade Extra Light. I remember the shade to be too light for me, but now it might not be. This shade is definitely more pink, and I remember this didn't really work out for me because it's very mattifying. It's definitely more for oilier skin. It made me look dry, so I am going to get rid of this. This is the Hera cushion I just did a review on. I really like this. It lasts a long time, and the color of this is actually quite good for me in terms of a cushion foundation, so I'm definitely keeping this. The only thing I wish is that this was higher SPF, but this is the one that's um, higher coverage because this is the C13 shade. Um, I believe they ha they have like another line. This is the ultra moisture one, so it's like supposed to be, you know, extra moisturizing. They do have another like normal one and I believe it's lighter coverage. Um, but I really do like this one so definitely keeping that. This is the Maybelline cushion I picked up from China. So this is a product from Asia. I did a video on this as well. And this one I think I'm going to get rid of. It's just old and also this was never a really great shade. It's quite dark and it dries down to be very pink so I'm going to get rid of this. Next we have the Innisfree cushion. I reviewed this a long time ago. I got this when I was in um, Asia and this is pretty much dried out so I'm going to have to throw this away and I don't really like this product. This is the Water Glow Cushion. I have it in the shade 21. Uh, the color match was okay but I remember this was kind of drying on my face. I didn't really like how it felt so I'm going to be tossing this. This is just old. I have this NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, uh, Bra Spectrum SPF 30. This is in the shade Finland. I used to wear this all the time. Oh my gosh. So it was like my go-to uh, base product because of it had SPF 30. 
uh, but I remember it just being a little bit too slick and slidey on my face. I used to wear this all the time. I mean, it's a good one. I've just found better products since, so I moved on from it. So I am going to get rid of this one. But if you're looking for dewy skin, also have SPF. This is a good one. The shade is okay. Honestly, it's not perfect. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one because the shade match I found better. Um, but it is a good one if you can find, you know, your shade. And I love how it's SPF and it's radiant. I like it. It's moisturizing. It looks good on dry skin. This is the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream in SPF 50 Plus. Um, this is in the shade Fair. I have... This is in the travel size. I had the original, I had the full size of it in light, but I discovered that one to be too dark for me. And actually, the light color is more like peachy based than the fair. Fair is a very yellow toned um, shade, so it's great for anyone, for those of you that are a skin tone similar to mine. This is like one of my favorite products. I think it made my yearly favorites. The only year I did yearly favorites. This is a great product. It's very, very good coverage. You can build it up to full coverage it has all of these skincare benefits in them and it has SPF 50 this is what I used to take with me when I went on vacation I would wear this all the time on the beach just to protect my face I love this product I will be purchasing another one a full size of this in the shade fair once I'm done with this or when the next VIB sale comes whatever comes whatever comes first but yeah it cosmetics is carried at Sephora now which is super exciting so I'm waiting for that 20% off in November and picking up a shade and fair for sure. I love this thing. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and I have it in the shade Porcelain. This foundation, I don't even know what to say about this. It is a stick foundation. I did get this for free from my friend Michelle, which I'm super, super thankful for because this is such an expensive foundation. I'm so glad I got to try it, but it just did not work out for me. The color is good. I love the coverage. It's super easy, but I think this breaks me out. I have no idea why. Uh, I, I just... I, Every time I wear this, I consistently break out. So I think I'm going to get rid of this, even though ugh, I really like it because it's so good coverage and it's a stick foundation. It's super easy. I might just keep it just to try a little bit longer, but I just feel like every time... I've tried this like three or four times now, and every time I wear it, I break out a little bit. Let me know if you... Let me know if you have similar experience or if you know why I would break out from this because I was trying to like Google it online and no one, I, I can't find anyone that said like I break out from the Hourglass Foundation. So I have no idea what it is. So I'm going to keep this for a little bit longer, but if it keeps breaking me out, I'm going to have to get rid of this. But I do have it in the shade Porcelain, which is also interesting because that is not the warmest shade in their like, because they have like a bunch of shades. So I actually got a neutral fair one because because sometimes I find the really yellow toned colors to be either too peachy or too like dark or too or it would like oxidize to be something really yellow. Like the Too Faced one like I said the ivory shade is way too yellow for me and it does not look good. It makes me look sick. So yeah I got the shade Porcelain. I like how it's super full coverage. It does look a little bit dry on the skin but I can make it work but I just wish it didn't break me out. I'm gonna keep it for a little bit. Just hoard it a little bit longer. Lastly, I have three bourgeois foundations. I love bourgeois. I love that brand I wish they have it in the States, but they don't so that's really annoying first one I want to talk about is the healthy mix serum foundation I have it in the shade 51 vanilla clear light vanilla if you're in the States or if you're somewhere that you can't get bourgeois You can get this on Amazon. This is where I got mine and it was pretty reasonable So I'll link it down below. I love 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 this foundation. This is a really good one shade wise everything like oh It's so good. It's a very good tone for my skin tone It can be a little bit dark some days, but I can make it work. This is a really good foundation from the drugstore um, the only thing the only like it looks really nice. It looks super flawless. It looks very luminous. It's very good. The only thing that makes the oops, the only thing that makes the high-end foundations like these two better than this is that these look undetectable on the skin. Like so freaking natural. Like you can't tell. Like it's so good. But this you can definitely tell when you have it on. It's like flawless looking. So you can definitely tell when you have this on. But it's a really good one from the drugstore. I love that shade. It's so nice. I definitely cannot say the same for these two foundations, also from Bourjois. I don't understand why, because the Healthy Mix Serum 51 is such a good shade, but these two 
are so not good shades, okay? <laughs> I picked these up when I was in Europe, I think either in Paris or London or respectively. This is the Bourjois City... City Radiance Brightening Effect SPF 30 Foundation. It says anti-pollution screen, radiance boosting pigments. And then this one is pretty much the opposite of it. This is the Bourjois Air Matte, uh, Air Matte Undetectable Matte Finish. Both of these are in 01 Rose Ivory. You're like, okay, why did you get Rose Ivory if you don't want it to be pink? Well, it's because the next color would be way, way, way too dark for me. This is the Air Matte and this is the City Radiance. The matte one dries down to be really, really matte, and it's a really pretty finish. I do like it. Even these two shades are like, I feel like this one is a total shade darker than this one, and they are like the, and they are named the same shades. Like, how weird is that? Without the lights, you can see this is way too peachy, and this is like a little bit pink on me. But I think I'm still gonna keep these two because I am a hoarder, and I got them from Europe, so they are a little bit special to me. So I'm just gonna hold on to them for a little bit longer. I will use them because they're SPF 30, and this one, oh, the Air Matte actually has no SPF in it. Maybe I should just get rid of it. Ah, oh, I don't want to because I bought it in Paris. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this, but I'm gonna I. I'm gonna keep this just to keep it, but this one I will definitely use because it does has SPF 30 So that's very useful to me and the shade isn't that bad Ugh, It's just it's just pink. It's just pink. Okay guys. That's it. We did pretty well. These are the ones I'm gonna keep Woo. These are the ones I got rid of I got rid of nine foundations. I'm pretty proud, actually. Let me know if you know of anywhere that accept donations of open makeup where you guys donate to. I try to look for it online, but it's hard for me to find places that would accept gently used makeup. Let me know if you want me to do any other decluttering videos. I don't have, like, any makeup. I don't... My makeup isn't very organized, so it's hard for me to do, like, you know, categories, but maybe I can just do something, like, in general. Or just leave me a comment on anything you'd like to see from this channel. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!